Hello movie lovers. It's great to see you here. Don't forget to subscribe to catch my daily movie recommendations. Let's dive into the world of cinema together. Number 10. Bend It Like Beckham. Bend It Like Beckham is a 2002 British comedy drama film directed by Gurinder Chadha. The film follows Jess, a British Indian girl who loves to play soccer, but faces cultural barriers from her traditional Indian family. When Jess joins a local women's soccer team and falls for her Irish coach, Joe, her family disapproves and demands that she prioritize her education and marriage prospects instead. However, with the support of her best friend, Jules, and Joe, Jess continues to pursue her passion for soccer, leading the team to the finals. The film received critical acclaim and several awards, including the British Independent Film Award for Best British Independent Film. Number 9 Goal Goal is a 2005 sports drama film directed by Danny Cannon. The movie follows the story of Santiago Munez, a young man from Los Angeles who dreams of becoming a professional soccer player. Despite facing many obstacles, including financial difficulties, Santiago's talent is discovered by Glenn Foy, a former Newcastle United player, who arranges a tryout for him. Santiago is offered a contract to play for Newcastle United, but he faces challenges both on and off the field, including clashes with his coach and difficulties in his personal life. The movie received mixed reviews from critics, but was a commercial success, leading to two sequels, Goal 2, Living the Dream, and Goal 3, Taking on the World. Number 8. Hermano. Hermano is a Venezuelan drama film released in 2010. The movie is centered around two brothers, Julio and Daniel, who grew up together in a Caracas slum. Despite their different personalities and aspirations, they share a passion for soccer. Julio is a talented striker and team captain, while Daniel is a goalkeeper with a temper. When a talent scout offers Julio a chance to try out for a professional soccer team in Brazil, the brothers set out on a dangerous journey to achieve their dreams. Along the way, they face numerous obstacles, including violence, poverty, and betrayal. As they fight to overcome these challenges, they discover the true meaning of brotherhood and the importance of staying true to oneself. Number 7. Looking for Eric Looking for Eric is a 2009 British-French comedy drama film directed by Ken Loach. The story follows Eric Bishop, a depressed postman in Manchester, England, who is struggling to deal with personal and financial problems. Eric's life takes an unexpected turn when he starts receiving advice from his hero, Eric Cantona, a retired footballer. With Cantona's help, Eric gains the confidence to face his problems and reconcile with his estranged family. The film received critical acclaim and was nominated for the Palme d'Or at the 2009 Cannes Film Festival. Number 6 Pell Birth of a Legend. Pell, Birth of a Legend, is a 2016 biographical sports film directed by Jeff Zimbalist and Michael Zimbalist. The movie tells the story of Pell, the legendary Brazilian soccer player, from his childhood in poverty to his rise to fame as a national hero. The movie portrays Pelle's journey through the 1958 World Cup, where he was only 17 years old and helped Brazil win its first ever world title. The film highlights Pelle's incredible skill and his perseverance in the face of adversity. The movie received mixed reviews, but was praised for its stunning cinematography and impressive recreation of the 1950s and 1960 seconds Brazil. Number 5. United. United is a 2011 British television film directed by James Strong, and written by Chris Chibnall. The film tells the story of the Busby Babes, a talented group of young football players who played for Manchester United in the 1950s, and their tragic end in the Munich Air Disaster of 1958. The film focuses on the relationship between Bobby Charlton and Harry Gregg, two of the survivors of the crash, as they struggle to come to terms with their grief and rebuild their lives after the tragedy. The film received critical acclaim for its portrayal of the human side of the Munich disaster and the impact it had on the Manchester United team and the wider footballing community. Number 4. The Keeper The Keeper is a 2018 biographical film based on the life of Bert Troutman, 
a German World War II prisoner of war who became a football goalkeeper for Manchester City. The movie follows Bert's journey as he struggles to gain acceptance in post-war England due to his German background. Despite facing hostility and discrimination, Bert is given a chance to play for a local football team, where he catches the eye of a Manchester City scout. Bert joins Manchester City, where he eventually becomes a legend after famously playing the 1956 FA Cup final with a broken neck and helping the team win the trophy. The movie stars David Cross as Bert Troutman and was directed by Marcus H. Rosen Lur. Number 3 Offside Offside is a 2006 Iranian film directed by Jafar Panahi. The movie tells the story of a group of young women who disguise themselves as men to sneak into Tehran's Azadi Stadium to watch a football match between Iran and Bahrain. The women are caught by the authorities and must spend the night in a holding pen outside the stadium, guarded by inexperienced soldiers. During their detention, the women bond and discuss their love of football and their frustrations with Iran's gender restrictions. The film highlights the challenges that Iranian women face in their daily lives and their determination to follow their dreams, including their love for football. Offside won the Silver Bear at the 56th Berlin International Film Festival. Number 2 Green Street Hooligans Green Street Hooligans is a 2005 British-American drama film directed by Lexi Alexander. The film follows Matt Buckner, a journalism student expelled from Harvard University, who moves to London to stay with his sister and her husband. He meets Pete Dunham, the leader of the local football hooligan firm known as the Green Street Elite. Matt becomes immersed in the violent world of football hooliganism, but also begins to develop a deeper understanding and appreciation of the culture. The film stars Elijah Wood, Charlie Hunnam, and Claire Ferlani. It was well received for its authentic portrayal of football hooliganism in the UK and earned a nomination for the Grand Jury Prize at the Sundance Film Festival. Number 1. The Damned United The Damned United is a 2009 sports drama film directed by Tom Hooper. The movie is based on the real-life story of Brian Clough's brief and controversial tenure as the manager of Leeds United in 1974. Clough was one of the most successful football managers in the history of English football, but his tenure at Leeds was a disaster and lasted only 44 days. The film explores Clough's ambition and his bitter rivalry with Leeds previous manager, Don Revie. The movie stars Michael Sheen as Brian Clough, Timothy Spall as Peter Taylor, and Combe Meany as Don Revie. The Damned United was critically acclaimed and received several award nominations.